Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 562. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 558 to 562. Hey, in this trick here, we want to see how to extract first, middle, and last, except for there's a problem. I have done some other videos on um, various text extraction, but this one we have middle names, right? But some people don't have middle names. And so uh, we want to be able to extract all three. Uh, the first name is real easy, and I've done this a lot. We're going to say, hey, please give me the left one, two, three, four, five, five characters. But there's varying lengths, there's two there, etc. So we'll say, hey, we want the left of that. How many? We'll just use the search function. It can look for a space within this, and it will tell us the space is the seventh character, the third character. Well, that's one too many, so we simply subtract one. In fact, we just did this trick uh, back in uh, 559. Well, then we can send it down. Now, the last name, we're also going to use a trick from 559. Um, since we have some two spaces here, two spaces, one space, we need to somehow signal with ins by inserting a character to uh, Right, insert a character there that says, hey, that's the space right before the last name. So we're going to use substitute text. This is the text right here. The old text we want to look for is a double quote space, double quote, that's a blank. And we want to put in its place a double quote shift six, which is a caret, some character that's not in the, the text here. Um, and then comma, the instance. Now, back in 559, we saw a little formula element that can count how many spaces you have. Now, sometimes we have one, sometimes we have two. Uh, you might even have more than that, and uh, like we did back here. But here we only have one or two. So we're going to count the spaces by using len. Len will count how many characters in total there are. If there was a way to take all of these characters and then remove the spaces and count that, if we subtracted the two, it would give us the count of two. Well, we'll just subtract from that length, but of what? How, how, how do we remove all the spaces and put nothing there? No, uh, no spaces, but replace it with uh, just nothing. We'll use our substitute. We'll say, hey, this. And instead of like this one where we put, hey, find the, all the spaces and replace it with this, we'll just say, hey, find all the spaces and replace it with double quote, double quote. That's a blank. That's nothing. Right? So this one gets 14. The length of this is totally a 16. So 14 minus 16 is 2. And so that is a way of getting the instance number. That's telling this first substitute, hey, go find the second space. By the way, what is a 2 when there's only one space? It's going to insert it in the first one. Now, let's just take a look there at that little len piece right there, uh, F9. And so we see it's a 2. Down here, it'll be a 1, and it'll work just fine. So we can see that inserted it just like back in 559. Now, we want to cert we want to find the position of that, because the whole point of that is to put it there, and now we can find it, because it's a lone character. So we say search for that character within that right there. So now, if we were to copy that down, you can see it, it totally gives us the right uh, position where that uh, space is. We're, we're trying to get the last name. But now we, we have a, a position that says that's the position before we get the last name. We use the replace and say, hey, start at 1, go all the way to that position, and replace it with blank. Replace, old text, boom, comma, the starting number, 1, comma, the number of characters, that little piece right there. And we come to the end, and finally it says, hey, when we type a comma, what's the new text? Double quote, blank, close parentheses, control enter. Now we can copy this down. Now we have first and last. And now here's the cool thing about having the first and last. You know, there are formulas for 
get in the middle part right here, but they get, uh, they're fun to do, but they're kind of big. But guess what? We already have on either side of us some text, some unique text here and here, so we can use the mid function equals mid. The text is this, comma. Now, starting number. How about just taking the length of this and adding one for the space and then two, and that'll be the starting position. So we'll say len of this, that's too short, so we add two, comma, and the number of characters. Well, we somehow need to figure out how long that is. Well, we can just simply take the length of this and subtract the length of this and the last name over here. Let's try it, len of this, that's all the characters, minus the len of this, minus the len of this, right there, and I can't get to it, so I'm going to click and then do my down arrow. Now that's going to be how many characters short, two, because we have one, two spaces, so I'm going to say minus two, close parentheses. So that's a lot shorter than this formula over here, but it completely depends on the fact that we've already extracted the first and last. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now we have a problem, oh yes, because we have our single space. Uh, we could go ahead and do some if, but you know what? Forget it. If there really are only two spaces and one spaces, um, I'm just going to say if error. This is 2007 and 2010, and what's beautiful about these functions is this: those versions is they have this anytime, whatever the value is, whatever this is, we just say comma at the end and then double quotes. What you'd have to do in 2003 is you'd have to copy this and go if is error that comma blank otherwise and then paste it again and the, and I've done lots of videos on that the disadvantage to that is that it calculates this whole thing twice control enter double click and send it down all right so there's some uh, extracting first and last name you know I've done this kind of stuff a lot and uh, getting text and having to extract it, and text to column is awesome but sometimes when you get a big data set you know you have to eye a lot of it some of it comes out in the first two columns, some of it comes out in the you know three columns. Uh, so sometimes if you're doing a lot and you have a little template like this, then it may take a while to calculate these formulas, but then you just dump your names here and boom, they're all extracted. All right, we'll see you next trick.